Welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters. We had uh, been discussing the module snubber design and uh, we had seen the snubber designs for RC snubbers. Then we started with the analysis of RCD snubbers and in that we saw that uh, we can divide it into three types. One is your normal snubber, large snubber and small snubber. We had derived equations for normal snubber in last lecture. Now this lecture we will be continuing further the analysis for large number and small number. So to do the analysis uh, we first uh, wrote down these uh, simple equations for currents and voltages for uh, this device voltage E which is basically the voltage across this capacitor Cs and then we had also written expression for this uh, switch current. Then we divided it into three parts, small number, normal number and large number and for normal number case uh, we had noted down that this uh, number can be the capacitance can be calculated as this CNS ILTS by 2E where IL is the load current, TS is the turn off time and E is the blocking voltage. Now let us do further and uh, do the analysis for large number. Large number means uh, this case uh, where your uh, capacitor voltage builds up slowly that means it is large enough and uh, it reaches to this blocking voltage at a time later than this turn off time Ts and let us say it reaches later by that time uh, by an additional time of Tr. So, at the time Ts let us say that uh, this voltage is equal to Es. So now uh, when you want to write equations uh, using the previous equation so you can write this Es at time Ts will be equal to ILTs by 2C and uh, then you can replace uh, this part of your uh, ILTs by 2 and by CNS and so you can write it as ECNS by CS and CNS is the normal number capacitance. And uh, for this uh, time interval which is uh, T greater than TS uh, what will happen is that the switch current has uh, become 0 in that case. So uh, what uh, we are telling is that uh, after the time period TS this uh, current your ISW this is gone from your IL to the value 0. So, your this uh, switch current is uh, 0 now and so all this current is going to flow through the capacitor Cs. So, in that case your d by dt the rate of change of the voltage will be equal to IL by Cs and the time TR to complete this commutation process can be obtained as the CSD by DT this current is equal to um, your E minus of ES by TR because DE the change is equal to E this voltage minus this ES voltage by this time TR it takes. So, if we do that then equating it what we obtain is that TR is equal to E minus ES by D by DT and you substitute for E you substitute for ES using the previously derived equations and then when you reduce it this is what you are going to get at CS by CNS minus 1 into TS by 2 is the, the extra time it needs to complete the commutation. So, the total commutation time will be the sum of these two Ts plus Tr, you add it up, reduce it, this is what you are going to get Cs by Cns plus 1 into Ts by 2. Now, uh, what is the power that is going to uh, take place, this, uh, the switching power, this is, this is the switching power. This is not a, a, the energy loss but the switching power loss you can say that during this uh, time period 0 to Ts. So, this is your P equal to E into Isw uh, the voltage multiplied by the current. So, 
you substitute uh, for the voltage equation, you substitute for the current equation that we have obtained and note down this is for this time interval 0 to T s. So, when the switch is also conducting in the, the capacitor is also getting charged. So, uh, then uh, this is what you will be obtaining and now we, if we want to obtain the peak power. So, if you want to obtain the peak power that means you have to differentiate it, you have to obtain the maxima and you differentiate and equate it to 0. So, we do that exercise, we uh, differentiate and we equate it to 0, you reduce it. This is what you are going to get the T by T s equal to 2 by 3. So, at uh, this time T by T s equal to 2 by 3 is your this power, this uh, switching power is going to become maximum. Now, you whether it is a maxima or minima you can check it for yourself you do the double differentiation and uh, then you can check it. Further uh, uh, if you substitute this T by T s equal to 2 by 3 in the power expression. So, uh, if you do it and then reduce it. So, this is what you will be getting 2 by 27 I L square T s by C s. Now, we want to reduce everything in terms of that uh, normal number capacitance value. So, uh, you substitute for this I L square uh, T s uh, from the previously derived equation for C n s and uh, then when you reduce it this is what you will be getting 4 by 27 C n s by C s E into I L. So, now if you want the turn of energy loss uh, in the switch that means in only in the device. So, then uh, that will be integration of uh, this power are from this time 0 to T s during the turn off time 0 to T s. So, uh, you write down the expression for P that we just derived and uh, then you integrate it and uh, you solve it. So, and further when you reduce this is what you will be getting I L square T s square by 24 C s. Again we do not like these terms uh, we want to uh, gave get everything in terms of this normal capacitance C n s. So, you do those adjustments and substitutions this is what you will be getting E i l t s by 12 C n s by C s. This is the device loss that is taking place during the time T s. Now, uh, we obtain the device loss. Now, what about the snubber loss? In the snubber also there is some loss going to take place. Now, what do we mean by snubber loss here? So, this is your uh, device and uh, then this is the RC and uh, with that this diode is connected. So, uh, whatever is the energy that gets uh, stored in this capacitor that same energy is going to get dissipated in the resistor R s later on. So, whatever is the stored energy that is actually a loss. So, we just can uh, obtain the snubber energy loss as a half of uh, C s into E E square. So, you substitute uh, for E as equal to I L T s by 2 C n s and uh, then what you obtain is this expression E i l T s by 4 C s by C n s. Now, the total energy loss uh, will be the sum of the device loss means your uh, switch loss plus the snubber loss. So, uh, you write down uh, the two expressions that we just obtained and um, uh, we can write that in this term E i l T s by 2 1 by 6 C n s by C s plus half of C s by C n s. Now, this uh, uh, let us say that your uh, this uh, C s by C n s uh, let us say this is equal to x. So, this uh, then uh, this W t it can be written as a function of x. So, this is some constant k. So, k is equal to your E i l T s by 2. So, this is equal to 1 by 6 x plus x by 2. This is what it can write. Now, let us see what would be the nature of the graph of this equation. So, if you plot the first one that is x by 2. So, x by 2 graph will be something like this. 
with respect to x and the nature of the graph of uh, 1 by 6 x with respect to x will be something like this. And uh, so, if we have to then plot uh, this uh, w t x total loss with respect to x, then the nature of the graph will be that initially it will be dominated, the graph will be dominated uh, for lower values of x by this 1 by c, 1 by 6 x. And then later on as x increases, uh, this is what is going to dominate the w t x value. Uh, this uh, x by 2 curve. So, accordingly you expect the nature of the graph to be something like this. And at what point is the minimum going to occur? That is uh, going to occur basically if you want you can differentiate and equate to 0 and also find out. But you can see that when these two are actually equal, so when 1 by 6 is x it becomes equal to x by 2 that is uh, where uh, you will be actually in uh, getting the minimum. So, you will be having this x square equal to 1 by 3. So, x will be equal to 1 by root over of 3. Now, this is something less than 1. So, that means this minima occurs at 1 by root 3 and uh, here uh, what we are interested in since this is a large number we our values of x which for which we are doing the analysis is x is greater than 1. So, for x uh, greater than 1 what happens is what you see is that this is just an increasing function. So, even if you search for a minima you are not going to get a minima for x greater than 1 it is a continuously increasing function. So, uh, that is why uh, we are not going to search for uh, this largest number a minimum value for your w t. Now, let us uh, do the analysis for uh, small snubber. So, small snubber means your uh, C s the snubber capacitance is less than your normal snubber capacitance. So, this is the graph that we are uh, going to take up then that it gets charged the capacitor gets charged before this turn off period is over. So, before the current reaches to 0 before that the voltage has already built up to the blocking voltage. So, let us say that happens uh, at the time uh, which we call it as the T c time the time for uh, your voltage to build up. So, that is uh, there at that time this is the equation that you will be obtaining I L T C square by 2 C S T S. So, from here if you want to write down the expression for T C, T C could be written as square root of 2 C S E T S by I L. Now, we want to get rid of uh, some of the terms here in terms of C N S the normal number capacitance and so further you can write uh, this T C as root over of C s by C n s into T s. So, the turn off switch power during the interval 0 to T c that will be multiplication of E into I s w. So, write down the expression for E, write down expression for I s w and uh, from there this is what we get and this is the same as that we had expression that we had obtained for your large number for this time interval 0 to T c. Then for your turn off uh, switch power during this time interval T c to T s. So, we are now further when we go down to this interval. So, here this is uh, between T c to T s what we see is that the current is reducing and it is becoming 0 while the voltage is uh, a capital E. So, then you can uh, write down the equation. So, E multiplied by I L 1 minus of T by T S that is what will be the expression for power. So, if we want to obtain the peak power P M uh, then it if T C by T S is greater than 2 by 3. So, it will be the same expression that we have obtained for your large number case. Because uh, what we found there for large number case that the peak occurs at 
t by t is equal to 2 by 3. And here we have the same expression as the large number. So, if uh, T c is T c by T s is greater than 2 by 3. So, if this expression has its peak at uh, before that. So, uh, the peak power expression will be the same as the large number. So, that is what it will be, but if this is not so, if let us say this is less than 2 by 3, then uh, this peak will occur at time T c. Now, why is it going to occur at time T c? Because uh, this is your voltage E which is uh, building up at time your uh, T c and uh, this is the current which falls down like this and that happens for this time period T s. So, from here to here your this voltage is fixed. Now, the current is reducing. So, uh, your multiplication will be maximum over at this T c point only beyond that the current value decreases. So, the P value is also going to decrease. So, P m will be equal to peak power will be at T c then E i l 1 minus of T c by T s. So, you can substitute for T c by T s in terms of C s by C n s and uh, how do we get it? Uh, you can note down this uh, that C n s is equal to this we have previously derived and for small number this also we have previously written you equate these two terms this is what you will be getting C s by C n s equal to T c by T s whole square. So, from there you can write down this. So, now if we want to find out the energy loss you integrate that power expression from time 0 to T c. This is for the switch turn off energy loss because uh, this time period uh, your capacitor voltage is building up. So, the equation is different then uh, from the time period T c to T s. So, we have to find out the switch loss in two parts. So, first part from 0 to T c interval you just simply write down the power expression and uh, then you have to basically integrate and uh, solve it. So, this is what finally you are going to get E i l T s by T c multiplied by T c by 3 T s minus T c square by 4 T s square. And uh, switch turn off energy loss from T c to T s. So, the equation is different there. So, you then you basically have to solve that uh, equation you integrate it and uh, if you solve it this is what you will be getting. So, we obtain the switch loss in two parts for the time interval 0 to T c and T c to T s. So, the total switch loss will be the sum of these two. So, W equal to W 1 plus W 2 you add these two expressions and you solve it. So, this is what you will be getting 1 minus 4 by 3 T c by T s plus half T c by T s square. And uh, we want to uh, replace this in terms of the number capacitances. So, this is what you will be writing 1 minus 4 by 3 root over of C s by C n s plus half of C s by C n s. Now, total energy loss will be switch loss plus number loss. This number loss expression remains the same as before that what we saw in large number case. So, you write down both of them and you reduce it this is what you will be getting E i l T s by 2 1 minus 4 by 3 root over of C s by C n s plus C s by C n s. So, now let us see uh, the summary of this analysis uh, what uh, we obtained. Uh, but before that let us uh, look into the minima for this total energy loss. So, you differentiate this uh, total energy loss with respect to C s by C n s and uh, when you differentiate that and you equate it to 0 uh, so after solving this is what you will be getting. Now, this is less than 1 and this is a small number case analysis is also for uh, these values to be less than 1. So, this is valid. So, minimum total energy loss will take place for this value of this number. So, total minimum total energy loss then uh, if you substitute for this C s by C n s 
in this expression, then what you will be obtaining that this minimum total energy loss is 5 by 9 EIL TS by 2 which is equal to W plus WS means your device loss plus number loss and uh, you can substitute this 4 by 9 in the expressions that you obtain for device losses as well as for number losses. So, uh, what you will be seeing is that uh, one third of this is, is the device loss and uh, 2 by 9 of that is the, the rest of it is the snubber loss. Now, if you recall uh, with the case of uh, no snubber, we had obtained the power loss expression. So, for no snubber case, what it was? It was equal to E i l t s by 2. So, what we observe here is that that your device losses have decreased from the case of no snubber. So, by adding snubber we affected the, uh, the turn off trajectories means how the voltage builds up and that affects the device losses and if we design the snubber properly it will so happen that although there are some snubber losses the total loss will be lesser than the case when there was no snubber. So, you basically reduce the stress on the device. This is the summary of the analysis that we performed. So, the important equations that we obtained was is you the switch turn off loss and this is for large snubber case this is what we obtained for uh, small snubber case this is the expression and uh, then this is what we obtained for the minimum loss where the total loss is minimum at for uh, that you when your Cs by Cn is equal to 4 by 9. So, for that case we obtained this expression. Further your uh, snubber loss that actually remains the same in these two cases it is not affected by your large number or small number I mean the expression is not uh, affected by that of course your values are going to get affected and uh, if you substitute for that Cs by Cns uh, this is what uh, you will be obtaining is your 2 by 9 EIL Ts by 2 and uh, the sum of these two the total loss expression. So, the total loss in terms of the number values this is what you obtain for large number and uh, this one is for the small snubber and then uh, this is where you have the minimum total loss this is the expression that you obtain. And uh, then the peak power expressions that also we had obtained for large number this is the expression. For small snubber uh, we saw that uh, if uh, your uh, the commutation time is less than uh, it is actually greater than 2 by 3 of the turn off time then this is the same as the last number else it is given by this. So, these are the important expressions that we had obtained. Now, if we look into it uh, what we observe is that that uh, the way these derivations are done all the expressions are in terms of uh, this snubber size, snubber size with respect to your normal snubber. So, C s by C n s is the ratio in which all the expressions are obtained and there are other terms which are your E i l T s by 2. This is also a factor uh, you can call it as like as a multiplication factor which is also uh, present in almost all the cases. So, now if we see previously we had uh, obtained this switching loss when no snubber is present that is in terms of uh, this E i l T s by 2. So, if we normalize this expression with respect to the case when there is uh, no snubber. So, your E i l T s by 2 will basically disappear. So, it will be a normalized loss e expressions that you will be obtaining and so those will be just in terms of some ratios and then the whole thing can be like a generalized expression uh, which you can use it for any design of your converter irrespective of your values of E i l T s. So, 
uh, that is what uh, then is done and these are then plotted as normalized with respect to the case when there is no snubber. So, this with respect to the snubber size that means this ratio C s by C n s and uh, the plot of loss with snubber by loss without snubber. So, basically it is a normalized thing you get rid of that E i l t s by 2 ton and uh, also this uh, power is also plotted uh, your peak power expression and that is divided by E i l because you can see here the, if you want to normalize this peak power you have to divide it by E i l because that is the term which actually is specific to the converter and uh, this uh, ratio is not specific to any converter uh, when we are uh, doing this analysis. So, then if you when you plot it this one is the snubber loss plot you can see it is continuously increasing with your snubber size C s by C n s. Then this one is your transistor loss. So, that is uh, decreasing with the size of the snubber and uh, this is in the total loss the snubber loss plus the device loss. So, what uh, we see is that this minimum occurs uh, before 1 and uh, somewhere here around it is occurring. So, that is your 4 by 9 what, what we had obtained is uh, the total loss where it becomes minimum. So, uh, and around this value actually the minima you can see that it is uh, relatively insensitive, it, it is not varying too much. So, around this value you can actually play around you, you adjust the values little bit it does not change the total loss much. And uh, one more thing that you observe here is that, that as uh, you increase this uh, C s value if you, as you keep on increasing your device loss, your transistor loss is decreasing. So, you are reducing the device uh, stress, your device losses are increasing, but the cost then you pay is that uh, your stored energy is increasing and that is what will become the snubber loss. So, that is going to increase. So, that is what um, you can observe here. And uh, so, uh, uh, we would like to reduce device stress, we would like to minimize the losses and then that becomes uh, the optimum uh, snubber uh, design your RCD snubber. So, those values of your CS is what we are supposed to choose. So, how can we do the uh, snubber design? So, you calculate your E and I L for your converter which we are designing. This is something you will be knowing when you design the converter. And uh, you estimate your T s that is your turn off time. Now, this is something you have to estimate turn off time is not fixed. We, uh, we did the assumption that in all these cases your large number, small number, normal number T s is fixed it is not uh, getting affected by the choice of this number value, but in reality it does get affected. It gets affected by many things, it gets affected by what kinds of parasitics are present. Um, in your converter, how good your layout is, uh, your device, so many things your turn off time and turn on time they get affected. So, uh, you try to have an estimate of your uh, T s uh, which is definitely you can estimate you can start with the data sheet values also or you can do some preliminary experiments to uh, observe the T s value. So, you estimate your T s and uh, then you have uh, this expression for obtaining the normal snubber capacitance I l T s by 2 e. And then from there you can start uh, your for your starting design you can choose this number value C s as C n s 4 by 9. That is what uh, you can uh, choose the value of capacitance to start your design with and then further as I said you can fine tune with the experimental results. And uh, uh, how do you choose your R s value? So, this whole of C s energy that gets dissipated in R s. So, you can use that expression also to obtain your value for R s. And uh, one more thing that uh, you can observe here this peak power P m this normalized peak power P m with respect to E i L is also plotted here and this is that uh, dotted line that, that is shown here. 
Now, this is also uh, something you should pay attention to because uh, when we do the snubber design, uh, we would like to keep the device within the SOA limits. So, uh, you can observe that with respect to your snubber size, what is the peak power that is expected and if it is well within the SOA, uh, the safe operating area or not. And if it is uh, not, uh, then you can adjust the snubber value so that it goes within your uh, SOA limits. Okay. So, you may not always design it for the minimum total loss as you might have to modify it also. And finally, the values as I said gets adjusted and modified based on your experimental results what waveforms uh, do you observe. So, this is the way um, you can do your RCD snubber design. So, the key points of uh, this lecture are that, uh, that your RCD snubber design analysis is done uh, by dividing into three parts normal uh, snubber, small snubber and large snubber. And uh, what we saw is that, that uh, snubber choice of snubbers affects your uh, switching characteristics and we can uh, reduce the device stress by properly choosing uh, the values of the snubbers. And uh, we can also try to keep it within the SOA limits uh, by proper choice of your snubber design. And also what we observed is that, that your device losses are getting affected and it can be lesser than uh, what it, it is when there is no snubber. So, your total loss of your converter, uh, basically the switching loss need not increase because you are adding a snubber resistance, it may reduce also if you have chosen proper values of snubbers. Thank you.